this and the other 100 devices that my organization throws away every year, what is the process for handling all the stuff that's in these? Uh, so just really quick on each type of waste stream has a unique, what we call sort of uh, waste hierarchy. Um, every single waste stream is different. Um, something just as a counterexample, like shoes, 90% would be refurbished, sent to the third world. 10% would be recycled where you shred, separate the, uh, the fiber from the rubber, and so on. So those are the two hierarchies in shoes. In something like electronics, most electronics are refurbished. Uh, so for example, we run maybe five to I think six electronic programs in the US and 90% of what comes in easily can be fixed, data could be scrubbed and out it goes into a secondary market and there's actually really good concrete value there. If, if it's broken, like you smash that you know, iPod because a new one came out and you really wanted a new one, you know, um, then in that case, uh, it typically goes into shred and separation. It's the separation quotient that is always the critical factor. So it goes through a technology where it's shredded, and then there's ways to separate even all the different types of plastics out from the PP and the HDPE and the PET uh, through various processes. And once you can get it all separated, it's, uh, it can be used. The issue you have to a little bit be careful of with electronics is fire retardant, you know, uh, 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 things that are put in there. So you just have to make sure that the end use is something appropriate with what it was. So you can't make a toothbrush, but you could definitely make another electronic product, no problem.